Super Notes tells you to free your thoughts, but can it actually do that for you? Let's talk about it. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to review and talk about a new note taking app called Super Notes. And this app has some cool tricks up its sleeve that we'll get into. But before we get started, be sure to like this video if you found it useful, click on subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss when I post new how-tos and reviews. So back at the end of May, Tobias from Super Notes reached out and asked if I'd be interested in reviewing their app. I'm always on the lookout for a great note-taking app and this was actually pretty good timing because I just started a new job and my department wants everyone to use Windows. Yep, Windows. Did you guys hear my heart breaking just a little bit? It's actually not that bad. I do have a Windows Surface around here somewhere. No, Windows is actually great and I haven't been on Windows daily since probably Windows 7. Yeah, it's been a while, but I have played around with newer versions of it. But this leads me to Super Notes and the fact that I now need a note-taking app that works cross-platform. Now there is quite a bit to like about Super Notes, but there are also some things that didn't work for me. And that's not to say those same things won't work for you. If you've seen some of my other videos about note-taking apps, I have a shortcut that I run daily. It's like a daily journal entry. It gives me a quote of the day, the daily weather, five events in a this day in history format, pulls my calendar entries, uses ChatGPT to give me two writing prompts, and marks my location where I took the note. It's also become one of the ways I test note-taking apps, seeing how easy it is to apply this shortcut to that app. Some apps have integrations built in for shortcuts, some rely on callback URLs, but Supernotes has an API available which makes it really easy to set up and it's reliable. I'm going to post a link to the shortcut in the comments below as well as links to everything else I've been talking about here, so be sure to check those out. Okay, so this is Super Notes. Um, I've got it open on my computer. Uh, just remember, this is available Mac, PC, Linux, uh, iOS, and Android, so you can use this completely cross-platform. Um, we'll start from the left here. So on the left-hand side, there's this pane here where you've just got the Super Notes logo, you've got your search bar, and then at the bottom um, you've got alerts and your settings. And then you have an option here, or you have this view, that is your collections and then outline and a calendar view of where you've got notes or where you've taken notes. And then you've got your full main section here. Um, uh, to view your notes. And there are different viewing options here as well. So uh, let's start with settings. If I go down here to the bottom and I click on my picture, uh, that's going to bring up the settings section. There are things like achievements where you've got uh, almost like a gamification here. And then uh, if I go back, go back into settings again, you can enter a code, refer a friend, and let's go right into settings. Um, so you've got app preferences. I, I really like the design of this app. I like how the colors change and the UI of this. I, I really enjoy using the app. Um, and we'll get into the things that I didn't, that didn't really work for me. And, and maybe, um, maybe you guys that are using this app have suggestions on workarounds for me to use it or make it more usable for me, but um, let's kind of go through this. The app preferences, you can change your uh, color scheme. So there's not a ton of color options, but there are some different ones. I kind of like this color that I've got now, but uh, you can go with like a hydrogen. Um, de deuterium is what I'm using right now. Uh, you can go zinc, you can go carbon. Um, so and then you can have it change uh, automatic from a day theme and a night theme, which is which is pretty cool as well. Um, let's go back. You can customize behavior. This is really customizable, uh, by the way, as well. And as, uh, along with the API, it reminds me of like an app, a note-taking app for a developer. If you're a developer and you need a good note-taking app, I think this would be a really good app for you because you can really customize and, and tailor this to how you want it to work. Um, accessibility options. And then there are some paid options. So this is a free app and there are um, 
there are pricing, different pricing models available. Let me move that over to show you what that looks like really quick. So um, there's the starter app, um, which is free, and you starts with 100 cards. Um, you'll see options that aren't available. And then the unlimited option, which you pay monthly for, there's uh, yearly billing on it as well. And that gives you full access. And they do have some discounts for educators and student discounts, uh, which is pretty cool. So that, that's your pricing as of today on, uh, on Super Notes. Let's jump back over here and I think we're done on preferences. And let's get into the app itself. So on the, the left hand side, you have these collections and I think this is a new feature that they put in here. And I don't really understand collections. I, I'm not sure I fully get that. And the reason why I say that is um, if I go to, as an example, Brandon on tech, um, you can hashtag your notes. And I thought by hashtagging the note, it would put it into a collection. And I think I kind of had that correct. Um, but it doesn't seem to be working that way for me. So if I jump over here and I edit this Brandon on tech, I have two rules set up. And you'll see here, this is what I kind of talk about when I I mean if you're a developer because there is this JSON file that um, is tagging so basically I'm tagging notes that contain bot or um, bot in different case sensitive text formats um, it's going to put that in the collection and maybe I you know, maybe I'm not classifying them well enough but um, if I scroll down here like this note right here doesn't have any tags in it, but it, I do see, actually I'm seeing right here that BOT is there. So, you know, it could be that I'm not classifying these correctly because one thing I've noticed is that um, my hashtags, like here's an example, this doesn't have bot or in it at all, but maybe, maybe I have bot spelled out in a word here somewhere. And actually, look, I do. I'm actually learning about this uh, app as I go, so um but that's that's kind of what i'm talking about where yeah it's kind of wasn't working for me it was classifying notes in different ways and i guess i have to make a really unique tag for the note in order for this to work um, so maybe i need to, to relook at that anyway um you've got these different collections here these are really nice because you can add an icon if i want to edit this collection i can jump over here and you can you can give it different colors. You can choose different icons. And there are really a, a ton of icons that you can choose if, if you want to do that. Um, what you can also do is use AI to create your collection. So if I go back and let's go to a new collection. Um, if you're using the paid option, you can generate a collection using AI. So if I click on this, I can describe what I want for my collection and it'll automatically create the collection for me. And um, it's going to bring up some examples that I've clicked on. So I'm going to drag this window over here. So this is how you can create custom collections. And the, um, the online documentation is really good with Supernotes as well. So that's one thing I I found really useful, especially when I was looking at APIs and integrating this with APIs. So it was really easy to create these collections. And as I'm finding and reviewing this with you, obviously my my tagging is not really working correctly with my descriptions here. Um, there is a calendar below, so you can see where you've taken, what days you've taken notes. Um, and I do like that a lot. So if I'm looking at uh, if I want to jump to the 17th or the 11th or the 10th, I can see um, those notes for that particular day. So that's really nice. Uh, and then you have the outline view where you can actually almost like a folder type view where I can create these notes um, or these outline views of my notes. So that's another option you have as well. And if I'm looking for something specific, maybe a, a specific script, I can jump over 
to that or I can jump over to this note here and like this this particular note here um, is in the outline view and I probably would want to drag that over here under daily notes so it's in an outline view um, so you have that organization as well within within the app um, and then if I jump back to home at the top left it's the singular view and now there's a lot of different viewing options that you have here so I could I have a couple different things I could do I could move this over to the left here and just have this on my desktop and my note taking or maybe if I've got another monitor and I've got this open and I want to see a lot of notes I can click on home at the top and each one of these collections can be viewed differently so I can uh, view my notes as a list and a broadsheet or graph so if I wanted to do something like a broadsheet and then um, I'll have this view available now one of the things that happens here uh, and this is one of the things that I I discovered is I don't get to see like if I'm looking at this particular note here I don't get to see the whole thing and maybe I want to just quickly at a glance look at this whole note and what I would have to do is click see more to be able to expand that for the whole note so one thing you can do in your view options is view as broadsheet and then you can view your notes maximized so you can actually see all of your notes um, in one whole swoop so that's nice um, that's a nice option as well otherwise if you kind of want this compact view or you want the, the standard view of notes one thing that I found was if I click just once on a note if I want to jump into it you actually have to double click on it to get into the notes they do support markdown so you'll see the markdown here within the note um, so that's an option and then when you're done editing your note you actually click finish and that'll finish off the note the three dots next to the hashtags that I have here will give you some data on your notes there's collaboration available so you can share or comment if you've got multiple people using this note taking app you can make comments and like and share um, so that's really nice and options to delete the note um, so that's all here as well okay let me show you the daily note that I I put into all my note taking apps it's kind of my test um, when I'm testing out note taking apps to see if they're gonna work for me and I'll run through this one because uh, it's kind of changed and morphed and, and I've adjusted it as I've been using it so the first thing that happens is I pull my date as the header uh, in a date format that I like then I pull uh, a quote of the day um, using markdown and then I pull a today in history and I believe I'm using chat GPT to pull that the top five historical events from this day I pull today's weather I pull a schedule of my events for the day from my calendar I do a daily prompt if I want to do some writing using chat GPT um, just a place to take some notes and then I pull my location um, and this is a daily note I run and it pulls in and it, it's supposed to go into my journal here on the left hand side and it uses an API call to do this so I think that's really cool um, that I have that option uh, with super notes because some of the other ones you have to use a URL callback um, and it's really easy to get into the documentation for super notes if I jump over to integrations within their website these are the different integrations that are available and if you want to get into the API side you can build your own and this will get you into all of the API documentation that's happening and basically I'm using the create card uh, API so I'm using this to run again the shortcut I'll post in the comments below and you can use this and adapt it as you need to uh, but you will need an API key to do this and that is one of the things that you'll be able to get um, from settings here under API and integrations you'll just jump over here and go into this you can manage your API keys and then you can also uh, create a new one when you jump in here. All right, so that's a look at Supernotes. I think this app has a ton of potential and will keep getting better as it's updated. 
The online community has been providing so many suggestions and Tobias is very active on the site. So I'd recommend checking the app out. It just might help you for your thoughts. What's your favorite note taking app right now? Have you tried Super Notes? Drop a note in the comments below. Thanks again for watching everyone and we'll talk soon.